As you can see, I'm sitting, and it turns out people all over the world sit. Dr. Daniel Lieberman has traveled everywhere and studies indigenous people, and he's found that people sit for about the same amount of time. People who are sitting in an office, at an office desk, working on their computer, or people who live more in the wilderness, hunting food, uh, more hunter-gatherer style type living, uh, we all sit the same amount. But there's a big difference. People who are sitting like you and me on the computer, typing away, we don't stand up very frequently. And this is the other thing that Dr. Lieberman found, was that these people who live in other places of the world that are more indigenous to those lands, they tend to move more. They sit in different ways compared to us. We sit at our computer desks at these 90 degree angles, tightening our hip flexors, and our lower backs, our hamstrings, bad slouched over posture. But indigenous peoples, not only did they move around a lot, but they probably sat in different positions. And I'm just gonna demonstrate some of those positions and I think they can be easily implemented into someone who is a desk worker, easily implemented into their life too. So instead of just sitting here in this position, it, if if feasible, it's probably a good idea to have a few different types of workstations. So imagine I have my laptop. If I have, let's say, a desk about this high, which is about the same there, I could I could squat and type like this, still having relatively decent posture. I mean, I could go like this too if you get, get a good stretch. Um, doing things like that, imagine like this being a rock or a or a log or something like that, that's, you know, that's a position you could sit in as well. Your computer could be on the ground or up, up a little higher probably. Um, and because it can be difficult for some people, for a lot of people, even for me, to get into a squat position without any support. So that's something you could try and that I'm, I'm guessing indigenous people do as well. Um, if you have your laptop, maybe even just going on the ground for a little bit, um, you know, getting some back extension, some neck extension in there, that would be good compared to, you know, the slouched over feel that we get all day. And then I personally think it's definitely worth investing in either a sit-stand desk or a sit-stand riser like this. I have this mini stepper as well that I like to pull out every once in a while. I have this a little bit higher, but I type and I go on my mini stepper like that. And not only that, but just, um, stepping away from your work every once in a while. I think sometimes when we're doing this deep work, we get so focused that we forget to step away. So whether that's setting an alarm or having someone come bother you to get up. So get up, do some, do a fitness snack, like jumping jacks, push-ups, squats, whatever, or get up and go outside if it's nice outside. You know, the lights is good for you. That's, that's good for many different purposes. Um, and also just, frequently change in your position. I think that can can add up to a lot of different benefits if you do that. So from laying down to squatting, even, you know, kneeling, kneeling on the ground too. Um, I'd like to invent like a squat to stand desk. I think that would be cool. Imagine this, but like huge on the ground and you can put it all the way to the ground and then stand it all the way up. Um, I don't know, should I invent that? Sitting is fine if you sit for, you know, short amounts of time. Um, but remember to maintain good posture when you're sitting, when you're doing anything, uh, but change positions. I think that's, I think that's the main thing.